the question that I will be answering in this experiment is which brand of ice cream melts the fastest? The materials that I will be using include four bowls, four brands of ice cream, and four labels. The brands of ice cream that I chose are Haagen-Dazs, Chapman's, Breyers, and lastly, Foremost Dairy. Also, all of these brands are vanilla so that my results would turn out to be as accurate as possible. My hypothesis is that Briars will melt the slowest because this is the only brand that doesn't contain water in the ingredients. I think because of this, it will melt the slowest out of all four brands. Before I begin my actual experiment, let's talk a bit about some background information and some general questions on the textures of ice cream. Ice cream gets its creamy texture according to the air whipped in. The less air that is whipped into the ice cream as it freezes, the creamier the texture will be. Also, because there is less air, it isn't as light as the others. Therefore, it will not melt as fast. No, it would not. The liquid water refreezes around the existing ice crystals. Over time, these ice crystals get bigger and bigger. Therefore, your ice cream will end up losing its creamy texture. So as you can see here, haagen is melting amazingly fast, but you can still see the scoop of ice cream. Next is Chapman. Then Foremost. And lastly, Briars. After a total of an hour and a half, Briars still looks perfectly fine to eat. At this point, to show how thick the ice cream is, I am moving the bowls around so it is clear what is really happening. You can tell that haagen is not completely melted yet, while Briars is just starting. haagen has officially melted at 5 p.m. Chapman's has officially melted at 5.20. Foremost has officially melted at 6 p.m. And lastly, Briars has officially melted at 6.45 p.m. All in all, my hypothesis was correct. Briars melted the slowest, then foremost, next Chapman's, and finally haagen -Dazs. What I could have done differently is use thermometers to actually test the temperature. That way I would get more accurate readings of how cold the ice cream is. In particular, I found the timing portion quite difficult in my project. The timing of when something important happens has to be perfect in order for the results to be accurate. I chose this topic because I wanted to know what was in my ice cream that made some brands melt faster than others.